and welcome to my channel. My name's Nicole and here on We Mama I do lots of motherhood, lifestyle, cleaning and organisational videos. So if you like that kind of content I would love it if you could stick around and maybe consider subscribing. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be all about what's in my... well I say my, not my toilet training pouch, I am fully toilet trained. Uh, my two-year-old little boy's toilet training pouch. <laughs> organized person where I like everything to be in pouches. I am like the crazy pouch lady. If you've not seen my uh, what's in my like changing bag, diaper bag video, uh, go have a look. Be amazed by the amount of pouches that I carry. How many more times can I say pouches? Anyhow, this little handy bag full of toilet related things has come in quite handy. We have just very recently started toilet training my little boy Didier who is two years old. I know that we're in the middle of a pandemic, we are in lockdown number three here in the UK and we're not going very far. Uh, the extent of our days out at the moment are to the park. Our park is like a 30 minute walk and then we spend like an hour in the park and then a 30 minute walk back. So we are out for around two hours give or take. So with a newly trained, like toilet trained little boy, this is quite a long period of time to be out of the house. So I thought I would put together this handy little uh, bag of things, all to do with toilet training and uh, yeah, to save my sanity uh, and my hands from touching gross things because I do not like public bathrooms, they are nasty. Uh, I also have some other little odds and ends that I will show you in a moment, but just things that will be making our life easier. So first up in the pouch, this is really handy to take in to public bathrooms. Inside I have some wet wipes. These are really tiny ones, they are from Tiger, like Flying Tiger. Bought these ages ago to put in my handbag and uh, yes, I thought they were the perfect size for wiping bums if it needs to be. For those really bad toileting emergencies, some gloves. Uh, I thought these would actually come in quite handy. You never know the state of a public bathroom. But you know, when a little boy's gotta go, you know, a newly toilet trained little boy does not care about the state of the bathroom. He will go. So if I can quickly whack on a glove, pick up any debris in the bathroom, I am very thankful that I have got these. I've also packed in some anti-viral wipes, uh, you know, in case the toilet is extra nasty and I just want to wipe the surfaces, the stalls, the floors if I could. I won't, but you know, I just got to make sure that my husband doesn't wipe my little boy's bum with uh, anti-black wipes. Maybe I need to get a label maker. You still would not pay attention. And then, of course, I have some hand sanitizer. Very, very important for, uh, well, you know, 2020, 2021. Got some nappy bags, you know, just in case. You never know what your situation is going to be for the newly toilet training little boy. Tissues, because sometimes you just need a tissue. And when you do need tissues, public bathrooms don't have tissues big pair of pants. We don't go fancy, we just go for the cheap ones because these are, you know, probably going to be full of poop and being tossed in a bin because that ain't going in my washing machine. So uh, yes, instead of faffing about, uh, usually in my like nappy changing bag, uh, we have a spare bag of clothes, but I, you know, in like go-to dire emergencies, I don't want to be rummaging around in like the nappy bag, like searching for pants, searching for this. So it's just easier for me to pack an extra pair into this pouch. And the last thing in the pouch I have are these toilet seat liners. I actually use these because uh, I keep one or two of these in my handbag because I really don't like public toilets and they're just handy to have. So these just fold out into these, like that, to put your bum on. And uh, yes, they are they are nice to have, I won't lie. 
Uh, I like that these ones are quite big so they hang over the seat so that my little boy doesn't have to touch the, uh, the toilet seat. Uh, yes, I really like having those. And all of that fits nicely in this little bag. I haven't really taste tested its ability too far at the moment because yes, we're just going into little park toilets. We've only had to go in twice and it was actually a quite good experience. Um, you know, but it, could been, it could have been a lot worse. So I made this just in case it didn't go, go good. Uh, so along with that, I have also purchased <laughs> Two other toilet training things and I love this I bought this a while ago but I ended up losing one of them so I bought another one and it is this little froggy seat it comes as you just saw in that little bag and it's yes look it folds out like that and it's a toilet seat for you know the kids to sit on uh, we have used this and I will say that you just need to be careful with these because when it can get a little unsteady and uh, it did pinch my little boy's bum so you do, you might want to keep that in mind but it's got really helpful little tabs here which pull down and they clip uh, and that one and it just steadies it on the toilet seat very very handy uh, little contraption sometimes I have forgotten this this is why I keep the toilet seat liners in the bag just in case I do forget to bring this uh, but I love that it just folds up so I can take this anyway when this pandemic's over uh, yes we can take it to like family members houses and my little boys didn't have to worry about a potty I just love that it comes in this little bag so I can sanitize it pop it straight back in and we're good to go to keep it either on the pram or even in the nappy bag I am loving that and then the last thing I bought was a travel potty and um, it is leaking with water <laughs> I did give it a good hose down <laughs> for a uh, Dettol before picking it up. These were actually quite expensive. I bought stuff off of Amazon for £22 and it's from the My Carry Potty range and they do really cute little like uh, animal versions like ladybugs, frogs, things like that. Uh, and they were a bit more expensive. They were like £27. So I just went for a yellow and red one. I didn't really want to go in with a potty route. I really wanted my little boy to just go straight to the toilet. We've got like toilet seats with uh, ladders attached to them but with my uh, five month old daughter I just realised that that wouldn't be feasible and I would need an actual potty so we bought one for the living room and then we bought this one for going on our walks. Just started going into the toilet so that's why I made the toilet bag. But at the very beginning, he was quite good with his wheeze, but he's not the best with his poos. Uh, he hasn't actually pooed in this yet, but <laughs> in case you were wondering. We just took this on the bottom of the pram, and when we got to the park, because uh, we were quite uh, far away from the public toilets at the beginning of the park, I just whacked it out, put it behind a bench, and got him to sit on it and had a wee. And it's just really handy, because obviously it's got like, a lock system, which is actually quite hard to open. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, you twist that. I need to get this away from my face. Yes, a, t a travel toilet in all its glory. But it's quite nice because you know, if you have, if you're in a place where you can't dispose of its contents, you can just uh, pretend it doesn't exist and you know, chuck it back in the car, bottle on the pram if you can't dispose of everything inside. Uh, which I quite like the idea of. So yes, quite handy to have this bad boy. So there we have my on-the-go toilet training equipment. As I said, you know, this isn't tried and tested as we haven't really gone that far. I probably will add in other little things when we are free and we can wander a little further afield if needs be, but I am very happy with what I have at the moment, especially with a frog. I think he's very cool. So guys, thank you for watching. If you did like this video, if it helped you in any way, I would love it if you could give this video a thumbs up and please leave any comments down below. Please let me know any of your tried and true uh, toilet training, potty training tips down below in the comments. I always get back to them. I love reading them and talking with you guys down there. Please think about subscribing. It would really help grow and support my little channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!